Hi everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Genevieve and I'm a Nigerian currently living in Germany. So today's video will be about cultural shocks that I have experienced while living in Germany for the past two years. My first ever cultural shock was finding out that several things you want to do here or places you want to go to you have to call and book an appointment before going there in nigeria it's completely different you don't have to call or book an appointment to go to any office for instance if you want to go to the hospital here in germany you have to call them and tell them your child is sick and you would want to come and see them and then they will tell you okay um come by 2 p.m 1 p.m but in nigeria nothing like that you just stroll into the hospital and then do whatever it is you came there for so that was my first ever cultural shock you see this one grocery shopping in germany when you go for grocery shopping after buying everything that you've you know bought nobody will help you pack those things that's number one secondly Nobody is going to give you a grocery bag and, you know, put all those things for you inside the bag and tell you thanks for coming. No. Even if you even be given a grocery bag, you have to pay for it. But in Nigeria, it's different. Every shop you go to, clothing shops, grocery shops, whatsoever, they always help you pack your stuff. That's number one. Then secondly, they always give you free bags just to tell you thanks for coming please do patronize us again next time that's you know it means to motivate customers to come back to their store next time but in germany it's different whether you like go back to the store don't go back to the store customers will always come so the lifestyle is just completely different the next thing that shocked me here is these people they know how to lick ice cream even when the weather is cold. I don't understand that, honestly speaking. Like, I always thought, you know, that ice cream is because of the weather is hot. That's why people lick ice cream. Honestly speaking, because that's what motivates us back in Nigeria to buy ice cream. Like, oh, the weather is very hot. You just want something to cool your system. And then you take ice cream or cold drinks. Or maybe you're on a date or something like that. But that's not like an everyday thing. But over here, whether the sun is shining or the weather is freezing cold, you will still see people who lick ice cream. I don't get that thing. And in my mind, I'm like, won't you catch a cold or have a flu or something like that? from licking the ice cream, you know, when the weather is so cold like that. It's so shocking. On Sundays in Germany, everywhere is usually very quiet, you know. There is not so much noise. Sunday is the day when people get to just like rest and all of that. Almost all the supermarkets are closed on Sundays. In fact, most places are closed on Sundays apart from, I think apart from maybe rest, restaurants if you want to go eat. But majority of places are closed on Sundays. But back home, it's not like that. Sundays is, the, Sunday is the day for enjoyment to the fullest. Like, that's when you want to go out all out there. You want to hang out with your friends. You want to go for one party, one get together or the other, and then you must go to church. A lot of Nigerians we go to church a lot, but Germans don't even go to church that much. It's not like you won't see them in church, but you can't compare the population of Nigerians that go to church and the population of Germans that go to church. Sunday is a day when there's no noise. You can be walking on the street, you won't even hear any noise at all. Another shocking thing I observed in Germany is Things are not done without plan and budget. You see, in Nigeria, you can decide to host a birthday party and you invite 10 people and then 20 people will show up for that birthday party. And then you start going around looking for how to please the extra 10 people just so that they'll be comfortable and they won't say they came for your birthday party and they were not fed well or they didn't enjoy it or something like that during your wedding you say i want 20 people 50 people will show up and you have to look for a way to please the extra number of people but in germany it's completely different when somebody tells you this birthday party will you come yes or no 
the reason the person is asking you is so that the person can budget properly okay five people are going to attend this party and i'm going to prepare things for just five people now if you're not invited you cannot show up things are not done that way here in germany you don't just stroll into people's events uninvited secondly in nigeria you know we have this habit of let's say like for instance on a sunday you're on your way from church just like ah, let me branch at this my friend's house to just say hi to her you just come unannounced and obviously when you come the food and drinks will be given to you now that's our, our usual way in germany it's not like that you don't just go and visit people unannounced you have to call on the phone and ask them if they are willing to actually you know receive you it's not just oh you just stroll into the person's house you can even go to the person's house the person is seeing you from like upstairs like the person is seeing that you're downstairs and you're her friend and, and she will refuse to open the door for you and it's fine like that's the way of life it's it's not a big deal but in nigeria we can't even try that if the person is seeing you and you don't even open the door for the person that's a very big problem you see the lifestyle is so different finally you know this world is diverse there is a billion people on this earth with different ways of doing things so it's just so surprising that you would live your life in a different place and you don't even know that there are people who will live their life completely different and opposite from how you live your life it's just surprising that's one of the that's one of the beauty of travel and diversity i would say so we've come to the end of today's video please subscribe to my youtube channel till next time bye